Hello, welcome to this video tutorial for DT Register 2.7. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at the category management. And you can see here I'm already in the back end on the category page, which I can get to uh, from going to the component menu, DT Register, and categories. Or I can also get there <coughs> from the control panel. Uh, clicking the categories item in the back end control panel. Within the category management page you'll see a list of all your existing categories uh, along with their category ID, uh, the color associated with the category, the name, uh, the parent category. If you have uh, set up a parent category you can do categories in two levels. So if you want to you can have uh, parent and child level categories. Um, the access level is will allows you to establish what user types are able to view events on the front end of your site that are part of this category. The status will publish or unpublish all events from a selected category. Then you have your ordering as all of the events on the front end are listed by category in the event listing here you can set the order of how those categories will show uh, within uh, within that event listing and of course you have the uh, delete if you want to remove a category the options in the toolbar apply if I hit the checkbox to select a category then I can delete publish or unpublish at the top um, or I can also hit the new button to create a new category so let's go ahead and create a category I'm going to select a parent category so in this case I'll be making a child level category so I'm going to make this a, a subcategory of seminars and conferences I'm going to mark it to be published and you will see over here on the side there are tool tips uh, that will help you if you don't remember what an option is you can always check the tooltip category name um, okay I gave it a name then for the category color and you you have to create a category color uh, and the color is only used in the calendar view uh, in the event list view the uh, color is not utilized at all um, so I'm going to use this color picker window to choose my color. Um, I could also just manually type a hexadecimal amount in the figure here, or I'll just select a color. Access level is public, registered, or special, uh, which go in line with the regular Joomla 1.5 um, access level see, that you see on most other places. Uh, public means the anybody that comes to your site will be able to see events of this category registered would mean that only people that are logged in would be able to see events in this category special means only administrator level users would be able to see the events so I'm just gonna hit registered and I'll save now you can see here's the new category I created and you can see it's got the little mark here showing that it is a child category of seminars and conferences here that also shows parent category here um, so now I've created my category and just a quick peek on the front end uh, here you can see events that are listed by the categories uh, that show in this manner and then when you go to the calendar view you'll see the the colors come into play there we go all right, so you see the color behind these two test events um, matches the color that is shown uh, within uh, within the back end category setup. So you can change that color. Um, the default color of the text shown for the event title is white. Uh, so you want to make a color that matches that. If you need to make changes to the calendar, you can do that in the CSS files um, which should be found in on your front end location of files 
and components slash com dt register slash assets slash css slash calendar and you'll find uh, you'll find various files there to make modifications to the calendar styling um, but anyway the category management is here for more information on any of the other views or other items see the other videos thank you very much